So the chase ends Monday. Ken Griffey Jr. has arrived at 600 home runs. Alongside John Cruck, Eric Young, and Buck Showalter, I'm Steve Berthume. Jr., the sixth member of the 600 home run club. Only Ruth, Sosa, and Bonds got there faster. Buck, did you see this coming way back when it all started? <laughs> well, you could see he had a lot of talent. I can tell you one thing. I got a good look at him back in uh, 1990. He was only, I think it was his first full year in the big leagues. And uh, the thing that strikes me watching Ken Griffey hit a 600 home run is what an exemplary guy he's been in the big leagues. You know, this is his 20th year in the big leagues. You don't read about this guy being in any trouble. His name's mentioned in anything. This guy, he laughs easily. That's what I love about him. You can tell he loves the game. His mom and dad got to be so proud of him. Watch him go around first base now. He reminds me so much of his dad. And, uh, you know, hats off to him. There's a covenant that he's lived up to about being a major league player. He's, he's been a lot of fun to watch, both on and off the field. Anyway? Well, coming up as a, as a, a major leaguer, you always wonder – you know, be like either Barry Bonds in the National League, Ken Griffey Jr. in the American League. Then I got my first chance to see him in the National League when he played for Cincinnati. But the thing that I was impressed about him the most was the, how he related relate his feelings and how he feel about the game to players. Like, he didn't just keep all his secrets to himself. If there was a problem you were having or something like he would come by the cage, he would offer advice at all times. And he was that way friendly with not only his teammates, but the opposing players as well. I think the big thing for me when you think about King Griffey Jr. Is, is the adversity he's had to go through once he's got to Cincinnati. You remember now, he's following his father's footsteps, playing on the big red machine, wanted to go back home to play, a high school graduate of, of a high school in Cincinnati, Moeller High School. And he wanted to go back there and prove to his to his town that, you know, I could bring a team back. But then injuries took over, and the fans started turning on him, but he persevered. The fans now are back on his side with the 600 home runs. Sure, he wanted to do it in Cincinnati, but you know what? He did it in Miami, not far from his home in Orlando. His family was all there. It's a beautiful thing. Congratulations to Junior. And Junior in the final season of that nine-year, $116.5 million contract. At 38 years old, we don't know where he goes from here after the season. Eventually, it'll be Cooperstown.